Hey guys, and welcome to the Buy and View. Hope you guys are all doing well in this particular video. This is going to be the press conference reaction. See what Tuchel's got to say, even though I don't want him in a job. Still got to do the video. Um, I know Muziala has been talking as well. I am going to be going to the game, got the tickets and everything. Um, so, yeah, literally, it's at the time of recording this, is 37 minutes past 11. We leave. Um, what eight no not eight nine thirty tomorrow morning and we will be on our way to the stadium um obviously tomorrow and up to manchester and so on and so forth so big up to everyone hopefully guys all doing well thank you for the support and um yeah let's get straight into this press conference because obviously i've left it a little bit late uh to actually make this video so i do apologize of course then we need to go back there because it always puts me behind um before we do get into this quickly uh obviously amad will be doing the stream hopefully fingers crossed with taylor um that's the plan i'm going to be going to the game so the plan for tomorrow amad will stream i'm hoping he might do a live uh, match reaction as well um and give his thoughts and opinions uh and then i'll have my match reaction when i get back to the hotel that we're staying at hopefully fingers crossed uh and then obviously i'm going to record a vlog and that will come out for you guys um in the next couple of days so big up to everyone thank for the cod support let's go um so straight away obviously jamal's been speaking so jamal muziala on his fitness ahead of tomorrow's game he said feel good and uh, have been training very hard uh, to be fit uh, we will discuss how many minutes i will get i uh, feel ready to play um he spoke about frankfurt he said uh, we are looking ahead and uh, now have the opportunity to build up self-confidence again excuse me uh, then goes on to say we uh, had a very good week of training before frankfurt uh, so it was surprising um what what's it doing uh, so it was surprising. We need uh, to be more confident. We can learn from that. And we know that uh, we always have to be fully focused. And uh, now the focus is on United. Uh, and we uh, have to be 100% there tomorrow. Um, on um, uh, Mazzialo on playing at Old Trafford tomorrow said it was a dream. Uh, it was the dream uh, of many kids to play here when I was uh, younger. I always enjoyed watching the games. I think the atmosphere will be great tomorrow. It's nuts, isn't it? Because normally I'm making these videos and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to be there tomorrow. So I will be able to tell you firsthand if it's good or not. Uh, United have had a, uh, lots of ups and downs this season, but they will uh, be up for it tomorrow. And they, uh, uh, they definitely have quality. Um, and then on the game, he said, we always try to control the game. That's our style. Um, eh, okay, I, I guess. I guess that's Ducal style. I would say more defensive shit football, personally. But, yeah, whatever. Um, but we certainly won't underestimate them. Well, I hope not, because I've already watched one Manchester team smack up my team. I don't need to see another one do it. Uh, they are particularly dangerous going forward, and they are certainly a team that is difficult to beat. Um, Muziala on the motivation to win tomorrow. Uh, Desire have already, uh, basically because we've already won the group, he said we always want to win, uh, and we want to continue our unbeaten streak in the Champions League. It's, uh, it's an important game for us, as we want to start another run before Christmas. And then... So that's what Jamal had to say. Let me know what you think what Jamal had to say. If you are enjoying, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all of that good stuff. Now we get on to what the clown had to say. So the clown had to say the following. Uh, lack of leadership on the pitch. He said, we are working uh, on it. You don't need to work on leadership. How are you going to work on leadership? Uh, that is one of the fundamental points. Uh, we thought we were further than we actually are. You have taken us backwards. The fact that you're looking down and not even looking forward. Now, this might just be a picture, but okay, maybe it's just a, yeah, whatever. Um, no, I clicked on, doing the wrong thing now. Uh, we were brutally punished, um, but uh, with a big result that hurt a lot. Hurt you? Yeah. It's all right for you saying that when you're getting thousands in your bank every week. What about us fans? Come on now. 
but we uh, have to we have to say that it uh, was the first defeat in the league. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, we're going down this road. It was the first defeat in the league. I have big confidence that uh, uh, there will now be a different reaction. We addressed the errors very directly. Um, tomorrow, there is an opportunity to show a reaction on one of the biggest stages in football. I agree. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, show show what you got, you do it in the Champions League with one of the best teams of all time, not nest or best clubs of all time. Not best team. They haven't got a very good team. Uh, they got a good team, but not like their old team of like Cantona and so on. Um, but seriously, we 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 really, but but we have to say that is the first that was our first defeat in the league. But I don't give a fuck. It was to seventh place. So if we lost to twentieth place, if we lost to the the relegation candidates. Uh, but it's our, it's our only it's only our first loss, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, yeah, it does, dum dum. You could have drawn on points. Bayer Leverkusen dropped points to Dortmund. They drew. They got one point. We could have got three out of that game and be with them. Fucking jarring. This guy's a prick, generally. Tuchel on whether he'll make changes tomorrow. I haven't decided on the lineup yet. I'm now waiting to. See the impressions in training, then we'll make a decision tonight. Whether he'll make changes. Well, it's fucking, it's fucking jarring. It really is. Uh, then he spoke about Man United. He said they are always a dangerous team. The club has a certain aura. Uh, the part of the DNA, uh, club's DNA that they can get through difficult moments. Um, they haven't had to deal with you, though, have they, Brick? Uh, they have ups and they have downs in their game, but have scored a lot of goals recently in strong moments. You can see what uh, they are really capable of. The stadium creates special moments. It will uh, be a big challenge for us. A game in Manchester is always big. Um, it's a big game. Um, it's a big club that is uh, electrifying. Uh, we... Uh, are preparing uh, as best as we can uh, for the best possible United. Um, I just sometimes, and everyone's going to say, "Yeah, but you got an agenda," or "Or yeah, you don't like too cool, you hate too cool," blah 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 blah. Um, but generally, I hate when they say that they're preparing for the best team. What about Sarah Brook and them, the ones that knocked us out of the fucking cup? You weren't expecting the best of them because you didn't even bring Harry Kane on. He was training for fucking warming up for about half the fucking game. Um, just like, were we not looking for the best Frankfurt then? Ah, oh, nah, Frankfurt. They're seventh. Fuck Frankfurt. Who the fuck are they? Oh, it's just fucking. I hate these like little fucking snippets. We were preparing for the best possible United. Fuck off. Generally, you're talking out your ass. Uh, they are very good and difficult to play against. We hope that we can uh, ensure they do not reach the best their best performance tomorrow. On Eric Ten Hag, I feel I feel for all colleagues. Sometimes it's difficult and challenging. Uh, I know what it's like to manage big clubs. Sometimes you feel that uh, a club is not uh, developing as quickly as you would like. We have to bring a lot of energy tomorrow to survive here. I'm convinced United want uh, want and will fight back. Right, straight away. Please, 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 please. You're not a big club manager. I don't fucking care what anyone has to say. You did win a Champions League. Congratulations for winning the Champions League. No matter what, you won the Champions League. Pep did over, over fucking complicate things, but either way, you won it. Simple. But you're not a big club manager. What club have you been to that is a big club? Other than Bayern Munich. Maybe Dortmund. Maybe Dortmund. Maybe you give that edge to Dortmund. PSG, are they actually a big club or are they just pumping in money, pumping in, pumping in, pumping in? Where's their success? The difference is with Chelsea, at least they had success. But still, they're not a massive club. This fucking guy talks out of his ass. 
generally. Uh, every fan wants uh, wants Harry to play in their team. We are very proud that we were able to sign Harry. He's a great um, personality, a great role model, a great player. He scores a lot of goals and will be very uh, happy to play here tomorrow. It's a big story that we brought the England captain, your to the English media, striker to Germany. Why are we making this about countries, dickhead? Like, that just makes no sense as well. Mate, you were managing in England until you got fucked up and then fucking sacked, you dick. So, again, you, would, you wouldn't be our coach. If you were not German, you wouldn't be our coach. You wouldn't. Uh, on whether Mazzoli and Davis will start after their weak performance in Frankfurt, we subbed them off at half time as we wanted uh, to bring a new impulse. Well, what the fuck happened there then, Dick Swede? Because we lost. So it, where's your impulse? Uh, that's just how it is. Everyone has to. Everyone has a chance to play tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. I'm not reading the rest of that crap. Uh, on Nabri's, I fear for Serge. He will be out at least eight. Oh my God, Serge is out for eight weeks. No, you're actually joking. Of course, that's a very long time. He was in good shape again in training and immediately got injured again, which is a real pity. We have to sell, Serge. He's behind me. I love him. I think he's fantastic, but we have to sell him. Um, on the mindset, having already won the group, I understand that. Some people referring to the Gal Galatasaray coach thought that against Copenhagen, it looked like we weren't throwing uh, everything into it. But uh, when you sign for Bayern or United, you signed to give 100% every day. They're not asking you about United, you dumbass. When you wear a Bayern jersey, you behave like you behave like champions. Take that shit off now. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Not even in a weird way. Take that off. Bullshit. You're talking out your ass. How the fuck are you going to say when you sign for Bayern or when you wear the Bayern jersey, you behave like champions? Motherfucker, are you talking out of your ass cheeks or what? I think you got the wrong... If you put your clothes upside down or something, are you just talking out your ass? Because what the fuck are you going on about? Yeah. When you take this off, get it off. Add the fucking Adidas. I don't give a shit. Drink your fucking Gatorade. Take that off. You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Even if uh, under pressure, you know, I will give everything tomorrow to get through, but we expect top performance from us. Yeah, this guy's a fucking clown. I'm not reading any more of this shit. I'm not reading any more of this shit. Um, why is there an ad on the screen? Um, let's just bring Jamal back on the screen because I was eyeing up the head button, this fucking TV, um, computer screen. The guy's a prick. The, the fact that he has the audacity to say when you wear a Bayern jersey, we have to act, you act like a champion. Where was the champions then? Where were the champions in that last game where we got smashed by a mid-table team? There ain't no champions. We got smashed 5-1. Is that champions, is it? Is that champions form? Yeah. Okay then, dickwad. You're an idiot. You're a fucking clown. Absolute fucking clown. Get this prick out my club. I, I can't stand him. The fact that I'm going to have to see this little weasel walking around the sidelines... Tomorrow, I'm so glad I don't have a fucking front row seat or anything like that. I'm up in the rafters. I just want to watch the game, be at Old Trafford, feel the environment, feel the atmosphere and all of that, and hopefully watch the lads win. But this guy, I'm generally, generally, this guy's so jarring. So fucking jarring. 